this episode, we leave Kadanara and we make our way to Lake Argyle where we spend three days at the Caravan Park slash resort. We've done the Pentecost <laughs> and now we're doing the Ivanhoe, which is pretty much the two most famous bloody crossings around Cardinara. I'm in wearing the same shirt as the last episode. I know this is my new favourite shirt. Wandering Oz hooked us <laughs> up, so shout out to them guys. Love your shirts. It's getting, getting us pumped to make our own shirts. Let's stop flapping the gums. Let's bloody get into it, eh? I only need to take the max tracks off for leveling. Yeah, well we don't, we never get stuck, so. <laughs> anyway. So we've just done the Gibb River Road, we had no issues, and we come to Hoo Tree Distillery and we get stuck on the front lawn, Got like so how bold. does that even happen? Now we're out the back, they've been kind enough to lend us their bloody high pressure hose and stuff, so... It's so embarrassing, Got to buy something we're going to have to go buy lunch from them because <laughs> this is just horrendous, we've ripped up their lawn and now they're letting us clean our car, so definitely going to have to get lunch here. We should have done the Ivanhoe after we got bogged yeah. in suburbia, anyway we'll give it a wash oh. and uh... Oh well, pretty embarrassing, eh? When people were like driving past just staring, we were like, oh, oh so my god, this is so bad. We must look like the biggest rookies ever. Yeah, Alright, let's get this car clean. <laughs> in the grass. We washed the car off, went into Hootry, we had a gin cocktail paddle which was really yum. Now we're off to Ord Valley Delight, it's a hip camp on hip camp. So we've got the Eagle's Nest I think it's called for the night, so super excited to see what that's like. Sit down, chill out and relax. How embarrassing <laughs> is that, getting bogged out in front of the Hootry, bloody hell. Anyway, hopefully this joint's real nice.
How good is this joint? Got the Cockburn Range, Coburn Range. Then you got this other range, I don't know what that's called, but it's just overlooking everything. It's mint. Can't believe it. Ord Valley Delight. Ord Valley Delight. If Hip you want to hit this one up, guys, <laughs> it is on Hip Camp and it's called the Eagle's Nest and it's in Cardinara. It's about 10 minutes out of town. So definitely get onto this one. Casey, the owner, is an absolute legend. So we just got to Lake Argyle. It turns out that you can actually book online. So a lot of people have said to us they don't take bookings and you just rock up. And then when we got here, the guy's like, who's told you that? And he took a piss out of us. So thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you can book online and they take 10 bookings a day. So if you haven't booked, you can just walk in, but that's why there's a big line sometimes because they do only take a few walk-ins. Um, we're gonna go down and have a swim in the infinity pool now. It's so hot. We've just been like sitting here for the past two hours in the camp chair, so we figured let's actually go do something. <laughs> so this is our campsite here. You get a grass spot and literally the park is pretty packed, but he has put us in the most mint spot ever. So green grass, no neighbours, and check this view out. You got the range behind you. So we'll go show you the other nice views, which one of them is the infinity pool that everyone gets a photo at, so let's do it. How good is this joint, guys? Pretty much pool to ourselves. And that's your backdrop right you there. couldn't stand tall. Stare at that all So day. why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all Tour on the 
Ford River. We tried to get the sunset one, but it was fully booked out, so we had to fork out. And we realised later, bucks. because we ran into a family that follows us on Instagram, and, and they had... camper kids, I'm yeah, sure Yeah, and they have six, uh, five in their crew, so that's why we couldn't get the bloody <laughs> seat, because they took them all, so good on yous. <laughs> but the lunch one, they do feed you, so I think they're serving up a bit of uh, cobbler for lunch, so I can't wait for that. And buffet. Yeah, we're going to eat a lot of food. I think there's free beers too. So let's stop talking about it. Let's bloody get into it. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Got our bathers, got our hats. That's it. That's all we need. All right, cool. Let's go. And towel. How is it? Delicious. Right, thank you. No bubble. It's a boy. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, some of the people on the tour are actually scared of the fresh water dumping truck. There's 30,000 in this lake, so... I was Yeah, well, they're not going to come near you, but people are still worried, eh? They don't believe you when they say they're going to stay away from you, but... How good's it? Cheers. Not bad. down southwest, it's always windy, so get me strong enough where you know the breath of wind. 35 degrees and having beers, it's just sick. Great Northerns. Yeah, I wouldn't drink this <laughs> if I had the choice, but it's the only thing they got, so I'm drinking it. And I've got to get my $125 worth out of this tour, so. Yeah, I don't normally drink champagne, but also got to get money's worth. Yeah, so I just spend the money. I've just eaten $50 worth of uh, fish and chicken, so I'm going to bring $125 worth of bloody booze. So. Except for they're cutting you off after two. <laughs> oh nah, they fly you, idiot. Apparently it's time to get back on the boat, so that's probably what we should do so we don't get left here. How good was that tour today? It was such a good day. I feel like spending the money was well worth it. 
So we paid $125 each and that included getting picked up at 10 o'clock and then out all day until 1.30. We got lunch with full like meat, salads, fresh fish on the barbecue. You go for a swim, have beers, champagne, wine, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, it was definitely worth it. It was really fun. I have seen people walking that way. Mm. So we're just going to go for a walk along the bluff. Apparently when you walk right along you can see the whole of the resort and all of Lake Argyle. So that should be pretty nice. Right on sunset. So we're about, I'd say a quarter of the way into the walk and it's already proving to be too long for our fitness levels. So Sarah up here is absolutely trudging along but I've actually got a crook back at the moment. Lifting that spare tyre up the other day to put it back on the back of the van. The the lower back didn't really like it that much. Yeah, it's been sore ever since. So I'll keep going. Poor me. Cry me a river. Violin sounds, whatever. Just so I'd let you guys know why I'm not performing like an athlete today. made it guys how good is this joint <laughs> holy moly it's probably one of the best views we've ever it's insane. seen we were walking down we were like oh my god we've taken the wrong like path we're going to the homestead and then you get to a point where it's like left go to the homestead or right come up here and it's insane we picked the right path thank god because it's a long bloody walk it's definitely longer yeah. than 2.5 k so oh yeah i don't know who measured that bloody but hell check, got a bad ruler check this out like literally if you look that way it's a beautiful view if you look that way it's a beautiful view like 360 beautiful views it's insane <laughs> like i've never seen anything like it like and I don't, and the thing is right, you guys are looking at this on the camera but it just never does it justice. Nothing that we could ever shoot for you guys will ever do these spots justice. It's like You've just got to come for yourself. Insane. <laughs> anyway, we're going to walk back in the dark.
we've just left Lake Argyle. We've come down to the free camp outside of Bungle Bungles. We're going to day trip in tomorrow super early and try and get the whole thing done. So apparently the road into Bungle Bungles is pretty bad. People are comparing it to the Gibbs, so you'll and have you, to wait and see for that one. Yeah, wait until next week to let you know what it's like. But we've done 1,500Ks in the Gibbs, so surely it can't be as bad as Columbaroo as well. So Famous last words. Yeah, we'll see that. We've dropped the tyres at 25. Anyway... Thanks for watching, guys. We'll stop dribbling shit. We'll let you go get back to your normal life. Hope you're all right if you're watching this in lockdown. Hope everything's good. And like always, if you did enjoy the video, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll uh, see you in the next one.